twirls her name around his mouth like it's salt water and he has a sore tooth. She soothes him like a glass of flat ginger ale does a sore stomach. Like the pint of Ben and Jerry's didn't soothe me after the breakup, prompting me to pick up the Mickey of whiskey. When I see he and she together, it burns like a shot of whiskey straight down my chest. Shot back up like a space shuttle launched and then swallowed again, still on fire. I burn for him like incense, masking the scent of a rebel cherry lit like lips spark conversations. We don't talk about her. Lately, we don't talk about anything besides football, bad calls, drop balls, fumbles, his humble post game interview, losing by two points, penalty hits, basically talking shit. And then talking more shit when I'm right. I love to stiff arm him with all my might and watch him fall over like the night he was too drunk to hold his tongue. But remember, he slung slurs of words I now think surely must have been meant for her, but found my ears first. His fingers drum cell block tango onto my hip bone and wrote this poem before my pen had a chance to roam the page. He lived further away because some days, 4,166 kilometers still isn't far enough away. He stays with me. Like memories of first times, first crimes, first signs of feelings, first reeling at the sound of his voice swirling my name like a hurricane behind his teeth. First relief of the wave of the red flag over white cotton, first Moroccan mint tea. Yeah. Easy like Sunday morning, he <laughs> called me. Long after we decided we weren't going to call each other lover anymore. Long after last call on the West Coast, I was trying to sleep through the sound of the phone ringing. When he asked me if I should answer it, I told my roommate, no, no person calling at 5.37 on a Sunday morning isn't drunk, and drunk people are always dialing the wrong number. I think he must have been meaning to dial hers. He slurred his words in the voicemail. It sounded like peanut butter was stuck to the roof of his mouth. He swallowed a slinky. I want to play him like an accordion. I want to stand up for him like the national anthem. Stretch my hands from the sands and shake pom pom so he can see them from his side of the ocean. Frankly, I yeah. want to get over the notion of him and I ever being in the same room again. Yeah. I want to pretend loose ends are left to tie anchors to friendships. I want it to finally hit that it's over. I want it to finally be over. I want to spit his name out of my mouth like sour milk drank straight from the carton before checking the expiry date. Yeah. It's too late to save myself from this bitter taste of bad timing. Ah. Geography, bad ideas to break rules and sanity to keep hearts from being broken. It's too late to take back my heart. A token he took back with him to his golden state. I hate that I immediately taste salt water every time I think of him. <laughs>